Now, as we are saying, the second type of autotrophic nutrition is chemosynthesis. Then, for example, the sulfur bacteria, which carries out chemosynthesis, combines, you know, hydrogen sulfide with uh, oxygen. And uh, during that, you know, combination is oxidizing it. During that oxidation process, the there is a chemical energy released. So in another process, it uses the chemical energy, okay, to synthesize the carbohydrate food. This is carbohydrate. This is carbohydrate. It uses the chemical energy to synthesize the carbohydrate. This is, it uses is the sulfur bacteria, it uses hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide. So this is the hydrogen sulfide. You know, it oxidizes it and the energy generated is used to, you know, produce its own uh, food. Another, you know, example of chemosynthesis is seen in nitrosomonas and the uh, nitrobacter. Nitrosomonas, you know, com or converts ammonia to nitrate. And the uh, nitrobacter converts nitrates to nitrites. So, and in that process, the energy that is released, they also use it to synthesize the food. Now, ammonia is oxidized, is oxidized by nitrosomonas. Okay. And uh, it oxidizes it to nitrate. And in that process, chemical energy is released. And uh, the nitrate is also oxidized by nitrobacter. These are examples of a uh, bacteria. The, this the nitrobacter oxidizes and converts, you know, nitrates to nitrates. And that is also is accompanied by this is nitrate by the release of particular chemical energy. So the energy released in these two processes is, is what the organism, these organisms use to synthesize their own carbohydrate, just as you know the sulfur bacteria had the done. So these are the events of uh, or the two types of autotrophic uh, nutrition. Let's now quickly go ahead to look at the various forms of heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition. We have said that this one has to do with uh, dependent, dependent feeding. That is, the organisms involved, they are not able to manufacture their food by themselves, but they depend on, you know, food made by other living organisms, and that is what they absorb into their body. They are able to produce food through, you know, those things. Now, this heterotrophic nutrition is in various form. We have some of them. Some of these heterotrophic organisms, they are able to you know, swallow food into their body. They are able to break down the food and, you know, 
digest, you know, large food particles. We call those ones, we call them macro, you know, they are said to be ma macrophagos. Macrophagos. The organisms that are macrophagos, they, you know, are able, some of them, they have teeth. They are able to break down food and absorb the food into their body. But some of them, they are microphagos. They are microphagos, for example, our, you know, our fish, okay, is not able to imbibe solid food uh, material, like the mosquito larva. It's not able to evolve large food uh, materials like our paramecium, okay, which ordinarily just engulfs food. They engulf particles of food substances which needed not to be digested in their body. Now, the other groups are the fluid feeders. It may be fluid feeder. Fluid feeder. The fluid feeders are like our butterfly. It's a fluid feeder. Um, some other organisms like mosquitoes is also, you know, a fluid uh, feeder. We also have uh, aphids. Aphids is also a food. You know, feeder. So, an heterotrophic organism will be a solid feeder that feed on large solid of food. They could also be microphagous in nature. That is, they feed on you know very small particles of food, or they may be fluid feeder feeding on the on fruits. But we generally we have a you know, four main types of heterotrophic. Uh, Nutrition. That's what I want us to outline now. We have four main types of heterotrophic uh, nutrition. One types. Types. One. We have a holozoic nutrition. Two. We have saprophytic nutrition. And three, you have symbiotic nutrition. And four, we have a parasitic, parasitic uh, nutrition. These are all types of are all types of heterotrophic nutrition. In all of these, these organisms, they depend on already made food. They cannot manufacture or synthesize their food. They depend on already made food. By either relating with a, an organism or the other organism or tapping from the resources of already dead, you know, organism. So, in other classes, we'll be able to pick these types of heterotrophic nutrition, one after the other, and we'll be able to outline various examples of organisms that, uh, you know, carry out this type of uh, organism, or this type of nutrition. So, to the next class, before we meet, I will, you know, ask you to take a little assignment so for your assignments you tabulate four differences
between autotrophic and uh, heterotrophic uh, nutrition and um, as usual after attempting your assignment snapshot it and pass it across to me through my email and that is what is written down here So enoch24 at gmail.com. Thank you.